Walking by Faith, Aging with Grace. Growing old, it's not a topic many of us face with enthusiasm. Some of us put on a braver face than others, determined to embrace the inevitable and grow old gracefully. But when your body aches and your muscles stiffen, when your eyes get blurry and your hearing goes, when the pace of life becomes overwhelming and it's hard to keep up, it's difficult to remember, no pun intended, that God sees aging as a part of life that's as beautiful as birth or youth or prime. Yes, we can feel sad when we are no longer the up-and-coming generation, leading, serving, and influencing in exciting ways. The psalmist cried, Do not cast me away when I am old. Do not forsake me when my strength is gone. Even when I am old and gray, do not forsake me, my God, till I declare your power to the next generation, your mighty acts to all who are to come. So don't allow Satan to convince you that you're overlooked, unwanted, or set aside. Depression and self-pity are two of his most effective tools against believers of any age. There are benefits to getting older, wisdom and dignity among them. Is not wisdom found among the aged? Does not long life bring understanding? Teach us to live for each day that we may gain a heart of wisdom. The pride of the young is their strength. The dignity of the old is gray hair. Gray hair is a crown of glory. It is gained in a righteous life. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. We are expected to continue to bear fruit in our old age as we carry on serving God. Be willing to embrace different tasks that fit your new status and maturity. Our roles may change, but God's desire to see us grow never will. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon, planted in the house of the Lord. They will flourish in the courts of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age. They will stay fresh and green, proclaiming, The Lord is upright. He is my rock. There is no wickedness in him. He will give us not only strength, but will sustain, rescue, protect, and even nourish us all the days of our lives. You, whom I have upheld since you were conceived and have carried you since birth, Even to your old age and gray hairs, I am he, I am he who will sustain you. I have made you and I will carry you. I will support you and I will rescue you. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. He will be a comfort for your soul and support you in your old age. We know that we cannot escape sorrow and pain while here in our aging earthly bodies, but instead we look forward to eternity in heaven with him in our new and glorious physiques. Our days may come to 70 years, or 80 if our strength endures, yet the best of them are but trouble and sorrow, for they quickly pass and we fly away. And the dust returns to the ground it came from, and the Spirit returns to God who gave it. We know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also through Jesus, and will bring us with you into his presence. Therefore, do not lose heart, Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. 
So we fix our eyes, not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Now let us lift our praise and honor to the Lord, looking forward joyfully to the day when our work on earth is finished. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to the Lord as long as I live. I will exalt you, my God and King. I will praise your name forever. Every day I will praise you and extol your name for eternity. My mouth will speak in praise of the Lord. Let every creature praise his holy name forever.